Hello nerds and welcome to 4 Nerds Gaming, you're on with Happy Bandit and today I've got a tutorial episode for you. Um, I kind of discovered how to do this on the Buildar server and a lot of the other people on there were asking questions about it and so I figured I'd show off how to do it. And it's the uh, here, things you never knew you needed enchanting system. I think that's, I think that's right. Uh, Tinkin, I believe is how it's pronounced. So let's get to it. Uh, you want to start off by getting some talc, and that is what the ore looks like. Um, get a piece of the talc and a book, and it will give you this book here, the Tinkin guidebook. And it is, it's pretty good. Um, according to their wiki, they say, don't trust what's on the wiki, trust what's in the guidebook, because the wiki might be out of date. So if you've got this book, you should be good to go. And uh, the important thing in it, uh, I'm sure all this other stuff is important, but what we're really going to focus in on is the enchanting here. And uh, I'll get to that a little more here in just a second. So the first thing you got to do is build these enchanting cores. Um, and here's a level one. That's what it looks like. Uh, how you make it stone lapis and diamond and then you take your your core I think it's called a core I don't remember and then uh, you get stone slabs and it gives you the uh, the enchanting obelisk um, let me let's see here enchanting yeah core haha -ha. so that's a level one and that'll do level one enchantments. Uh, you know, like sharpness one, protection one, etc. So here is how you do a level two. And I'm showing this because they're not, these are not in this book. It doesn't actually show you how to make them. Um, you can obviously look at uh, your NEI, but, you know. This is this is another way. So this is stone, uh, redstone, dust, and diamond to get level two. This one here, level three, I think is actually the the most difficult one because it requires a, an emerald. And depending on the the mod pack you're playing, um, that might be hard to come by. Uh, like for example, in uh, in Bildar, uh, emeralds are not super super. Um, abundant uh, at least not yet um, so here you got an emerald and some nether quartz and stone for level three level fours redstone blocks lapis and diamond and then level five is uh, obsidian quartz blocks and diamond so that'll get you that now the reason you want the book is to figure out the uh, Oh, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, the cost, I guess, of each enchantment. So, for example, protection is obsidian, and it costs five levels. Level Tier 1 enchanting costs five levels. It's five levels per tier. So, level 3 will be 15 levels, and so forth. Um, so, let me just show you real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, come here. You just go away. Okay. Right. So, what you're going to do is, at level one, you set it a block away. So, this is for Silk Touch, because it is the best single level enchantment. Uh, and, actually, let me... Uh, this game mode zero. I gave myself a few levels earlier. So I could do this. So all you do is, uh, now this is in the book, tier one. It shows you, uh, where is it at? Silk touch, wool, and quartz. So I put four quartz blocks, four wool. Now we're going to take our item, right click on the obelisk. Boom. Silk touch one. It's just that easy. Let me get rid of all this junk so I don't confuse myself as much as anybody else so um, 
Yeah, super simple. It, uh, all it costs you is some levels and whatever the requirements are for that enchantment. Now, uh, obviously, it gets a little more tricky as you go up. So, for... Uh, For level two, not only do you have your the cost for your enchantment, but you also have to make, uh, you kind of have to upgrade your obelisk. And you do that with um, iron blocks. Make sure I'm putting these in the right places. I think that's right. So you're, you're going to put, oh, dang. Well, look, I got a silk touch pick. All right, so you put those in uh, the corners, like diagonally one block away. All right, and then we're going to put our costs. Uh, in this case, I'm doing knockback. And so that's just some uh, obsidian and some, uh, some pistons, and boom. Knockback two. Pretty cool, huh? 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 All right. Now, getting a little, a little, uh, a little trickier here as we go. Uh, let me make it day. All right. So, level three. Again, you have to uh, build up the uh, your enchanting area. Again, with the iron, but this time you have to put a gold block on top of it. Now, you'll notice these are still here. It does not use up these, these uh, iron and gold blocks. So, uh, you know, you can just set this up and use it all day long and never have any problems. So, for level three... We're going to put these lapis around. Again, all the costs uh, for the specific enchantment that you're looking for is in, is in the book. So, uh, that's lapis with gold pressure plates onto a sword. Gives us looting three. On a pick, it would give you fortune three. So, uh, you know, good times. Real easy stuff. Really awesome. So, let us continue. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Again, the uh, the enchantments that I picked here, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. It really doesn't make any difference at all. Uh, oh, did I? I am short on gold blocks. Let me steal some gold blocks here, and I'm going to steal these two for a second because... Do, do, do. All right. So, boom, boom. Boop. Uh, diagonal. Diagonal right there. Now, this is level four. So, in addition to this... Uh, three blocks above, we need another block. One, two, we put a diamond block. Oh, crap. Okay. So, that is how you build up the level four. See, look at that. Isn't that cool? Now... One thing that is different about this, on all of these, we went one block away. Level four and five, you go two blocks away. So, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. See how it's two blocks away? That is going to give us a protection for chestplate. 
All right. So. All right. We've got diagonally one, two, one, two, two, one, two. Now this time it takes two, two gold blocks. I could fly, but you know, that's cheating. I don't know. I don't know. It's not really cheating. It's Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. And then once again, we need our uh our diamond block. Uh where it needs to be. Just be right there. Yep. So for the level five, again, same as four, you just two gold. And again, it doesn't use all this. All right, so uh, again, two blocks away. One, two. One, two. One, two. This is uh, quartz blocks and uh, iron pressure plates. And we're gonna put that onto the sword and get sharpness five so that's just how easy all of that is uh let's say you put sharpness five on that sword and you want to put unbreaking three okay all you would do is uh come to your three put your stuff around but this time it would cost you 20 levels because if you already have an enchantment on there, it's going to cost an additional five levels to put an enchantment on. So uh, I don't think that's a big deal at all. Being able to specify the enchantments you want is amazing. And uh, I mean, really the costs are pretty cheap aside from the enchantment levels. But, but there's one more thing now this is only if you really want to get crazy with the cheese whiz a level five obelisk has the ability to put in unbreaking x onto an item there's an additional cost though Nether star. So uh, I haven't done this, so we're gonna give this a shot. Now um, it does cost fifty levels to do this, so it's it's not. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. So it's not the standard twenty-five that it would be for a level five enchantment. It's gonna be a fifty-level cost here so what you do you get it all set up you hit it with the nether star look at that look at that go unbreaking x oh that's so cool and all it cost you is 50 levels and another star and some obsidian and nether quartz and let's face it if you had another star those things are nothing and now this pick will last forever. So, so that is that. Um, I don't think I forgot anything here. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you know, the first thing you do, make this book. Then you can figure out exactly what you need for your your enchantments. So uh, that's that's kind of fun. Fire protection, light upsetting on fire, feather falling for your boots, and obviously uh, it only gives you what is available. So you can't get like fortune fo 
you know, four, because there is no fortune four. It only goes to fortune three. So, uh, just look through the book, but that's, that's the setup. You don't need anything for a one. Iron blocks for two. Iron blocks and gold for three. Iron blocks, gold, and a diamond block for four. And uh, iron blocks, gold blocks, and diamond blocks for five. So, I've actually got a one, three, and four level obelisks in my uh, build our world right now. And uh, I just sort of... I've been rearranging my setup. I, I, I don't have, you know, an arrangement for each one of them because, you know, gold blocks and iron blocks and diamond blocks are, they're, you know, you don't want to just leave those things lying around necessarily. But, uh, you know, I've got, you know, I've been just, as I accumulate XP, I go throw an enchantment on something. And uh, it's great. Unfortunately, there's not a great way in Buildar to convert mob essence to XP other than turning them into bottles of enchanting. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, I think that's going to do it for this little tutorial. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've used this, uh, the Tinkin Enchanting and what you think about it. I think it's great. Um, like I said, anytime you have the ability to specify what enchantments you want on something, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so I, I cannot move in this reverse third person view. So uh, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we will see you next time on Foreigners Gaming. Goodbye.